You know, one of the worst things that could have ever happened was shutting down the economy. We're looking back at it because right now there are 22, 23 states where the infection rate is skyrocketing and people are pressing forward. And it has me thinking, what would have happened if we didn't shut down because we would have had the rise in infection rates and it would have at some point leveled off and started to go down. That's where we are because looking at the shutdown of the economy and looking at literally we're talking, it's going to take 10 years for this to recover. About 10 years to fully recover because if we compare what has happened, which was a conscious decision versus what happened in 2008, 9, 7, well, 2008, 10, 11, 12, which was happened because of toxic mortgages, the damage that has been done in these mere four months has been significantly much larger than the damage that the 2009 recession created. And you gotta look at it because I'm Monday morning quarterbacking because now we have information that we didn't have in February. And it's pretty much one of the worst things we've could have ever done because one of the things that's going to be a long-term consequence of shutting down the economy is the lingering high unemployment, which is going to be another consequence of millions, millions of small businesses closing. During the last recession, we lost 1.8 million businesses. That was the last recession we're projected to lose eight to 12 million businesses during this financial crisis. That's going to have a significant long-term impact. And also Congress is going on vacation July 3rd to about the 20th something. So more than likely because they're going on vacation, there will not be a stimulus package approved in July, which means that the additional $600 per month that many people have become accustomed to and they're just loving it will not be extended. So this is going to create some more financial hardship for many, many people. Also, no one's talking about this, but the many states unemployment insurance plans were not built to handle millions upon millions of people filing for unemployment benefits literally every week. So you should hear, and during the last recession, which wasn't nothing like this, 36 states had to borrow from the Federal Unemployment Insurance Fund. I wonder how many states have already borrowed from this fund and how long can this fund last? Because, you know, unless Congress does something and no one is even talking about this because unemployment is going to remain high. You know, June is almost over and we still have had 1.5 million people a week losing their job. So we're at six to seven million people who lost their jobs. I've not seen any felonious reports of an economic rebound. And also we're starting to see open and closing, just kind of like that skit by Eddie Murphy, club opening, club closing, Florida, is now closing their beaches for the 4th of July, which was a big money maker for the state of Florida. So we're starting to see, and this is, and also understand, this is not the second wave of the Corona. It's the first wave. Cause see what happened up in New England area, it hit their heart. 
And then, you know, in the North and South Carolina, a lot of New Yorkers left New York and went to North and South Carolina and they took the Rona with them. Um, what you're starting to see is this first wave go across the United States. We've not entered into a second wave. In this first wave, beach is opening, beach is closing. So just buckle up because it's going to be a very, very wild ride for a long, long time. I'm estimating that we're gonna go through this for about 18 months total, starting from February. So almost two years of this type of start, stop, economic collapse, unless, you know, you watched the video yesterday and you go ahead and start to seek out economic opportunity for yourself because I'm here to tell you, having a job is going to be a dicey, dicey proposition. Right now, many police officers in New York have filed for retirement. They're like, I'm done. I'm out of here. Give me my pension check and let me go about my business. So you're going to see many, many people over the next 18 months. Well, let's go ahead and it's like we're it's February, March, April, May, June. So let's say the next 13 months, you're going to see a lot of hardship and you're going to see things worse because remember the video where I talked about the economic time bombs? The bomb, the first bomb's about to go off the end of July. Uh, July will start tomorrow, so we will have that situation going on. But one of the things that you have got to do, and you, you've got to understand this, is you've got to start practicing financial self-defense. Because let's go ahead and look at what happened. There was a stimulus package put together at the beginning of this. It was the CARES Act. They got together, they voted it, everyone agreed. They signed off on it. That was months ago. There has not been a second stimulus package. The Democrats created the HEROES Act, which both the president and the GOP led Senate like it is dead on arrival. And they pretty much have gone on vacation and about to go on vacation again which means to me that you're not going to see an approval of a second stimulus package, second stimulus check to August, which fits right into the timeline, August, September, October, early November elections. So you're not going to see any additional stimulus. And I guarantee you, is probably going to be a one-time check of 1200 bucks and that's going to be it and then we just going to continue to beaches open beaches close restaurants open restaurants close we're going to have this kind of activity and it's just going to keep creating economic drama for these businesses because restaurants Operating at 25% capacity ain't going to cut it. That's just not going to cut it long term. So, I mean, I'm about to get into some conspiracy things because I believe Trump is part of the New World Order because this happened under his watch. And, you know, he does all this crazy stuff. And, you know, he was just like, hey, you know, it's going to go away and all this other stuff. But look at what he did. He urged the states to shut down and the states shut down. And based upon our history, we can now look back, we can look at the data and go that this was one of the worst mistakes ever that has happened in the United States of America. You know, I was one of those people that, hey, we need to shut down. We need, you know, and also looking at the economic carnage, it was just too great. Right now, we're in a situation where we literally have 50 to 55 million people out of a working population of 160 million. Because see, here's the thing. America has a population of 337 million people. And out of that population base, 
only 160 million were working because you know you've got kids, you have students, you have the elderly, you have handicapped people, you have people who cannot participate. But over half of the country before the Rona was not working. I want you to understand that. T the, take 160 from 330 million. That's going to leave like 170 million of people who were not working. Over half of the country was not working before the Rona. And now you go ahead and add this 50 million to this 170. We've got a problem. We've got 220 million people in this country. 50 something million of these folks are eligible to work who are not working. This is going to have such profound and long-term impact that you don't know. Because right now the real estate is propped up because people are not putting their houses on the market because they know they're like, I don't, I don't want to deal with people in my house. I don't want to deal with the Rona. So this is drastically reduced inventory and it has been able to maintain high prices for the resale of homes. That's about to go away. That's going to be another one of these economic time bombs because here's the math. Like there will not be an extension of the $600 benefit. Even when Congress comes back and they vote on the second stimulus package, it will not be 600. I, I estimate it'll be 300 or even less because they, they saw what happened because the GOP Senate like, whoa, 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 whoa. We got business owners out here competing with the tax doctors. We can't do that again. So that's not going to happen again. And one of the things that you're going to see is a lot of political posturing because Donald Trump realized when he had his rally and hardly anyone showed up that his reelection bid was in trouble. And this made Donald, Donald J. Trump get a case of act right. Well, yes, we're going to do a second stimulus package and it's going to be quite generous for the American people. So there will probably be another stimulus check, but I'm, I'm here to tell you, it's not going to be in July. They're on vacation. It's going to be August when it gets approved and the checks will probably be cut in September, which fits the political timetable, September, October. Then we go out and vote. I, I, I'm here to tell you that's what's going to happen, but we will see what will happen because on Savage Finance, I'm going to start doing stimulus check videos. and I got to do some research because all of these felonious proposals and reading the bills and stuff, I got to start setting that up on Savage. But understand that the shutdown of the American economy, of the global economy, was a bad thing. And I'm just wondering how many lives did this actually save? Because right now, and this is one of the craziest things, we have mil people getting militant about wearing the mask, talking about this against their constitutional rights. And then I had some yard bird was like, you know, no one has a problem with wearing a seatbelt. And it was like, well, you know, that wasn't the same thing, man. It was a, pro you know, in studies, countries around the world where people are wearing masks, the infection rate has gone down. But here in the United States of America, home of the brave, land of the free, uh, I ain't wearing no mask, man. I mean, you getting folks who getting hostile with employees at Costco and Walmart because they're like, there's someone at the front. It's like, hey, you need the mask to enter in here. And they're like, oh, no, we don't want no mask. It, it, it's, it's the craziest thing that this this conversation to wear a mask and all of the conversations about the ineffectiveness of wearing masks to me is stupid and pointless and it's become a civil war because you know if you're wearing a mask you're just a punk you just scared all led by the idiot in chief donald j trump pence finally put on their mask and if donald trump would stop with all of this blustering and you know it, it, it's the craziest thing but once again 
you have to understand that this is also part of the distraction because right now this is my advice to you if you are part of the american economy meaning that you have a business you're creating you're producing stuff you're doing things that's going to be your defense against the long-term effects of the shutting down of the american economy i mean this is going to be with us like for the next decade because once because see you, you got to understand the velocity of money once money stops that's kind of like a battleship that's in a battle zone and they stop shooting bullets and they just sit there and they're just a sitting duck and they're going to get shot up by the enemy that's what happened to the american economy so with this information and looking at what happened i feel that we should have just went ahead and just went with it and dealt with it and whatever happened happened and we would be pretty much on the other side now because more people would have been infected and we would have be at a point where because see the, the shutting down of the economy is one of the worst decisions ever to happen on this planet and we even if we didn't shut down we still would have problems because sweden which didn't shut down is about to go through is is in a recession and they didn't shut down so even with that we still would have had damage but i don't think the damage would have been as great as it is now so what i want you to do is to go below get 30 days to 2500 get the hustler's mindset pimping your mind for success and join the facebook group and begin having active conversations because see this is the thing you're not going to be able to save yourself being passive and just like, I ain't going to play. I'm going to go ahead. You will be part of the left behind class. You will be the part of people who used to be formerly middle class, who would be stepping down, who will now be inclusive in the left behind class. And this will be the legacy that you will give your children. So that's all I got for you guys. Check out this next video right here.